Alright, what's up everybody? My name is DeltaWolf556, and I am finally back with another episode of my very first playthrough of Starfield. As you can see, we are still on New Atlantis, which I think we've been here for a few episodes. But today, we are going to be doing some more side quests, or at least one more side quest. That's what I was doing last time I was here. I don't know, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually played this game. But yes, we are going to be back on the grind. So we're going to apply for a job at a Ryujin Industries kiosk. Want to challenge your instincts and hone corporate skills reunion is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. yeah I'm totally bold so of those things all right let's begin all right job application Welcome to the Ryujin Industries job application. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. All right, work experience. How many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial position or corporate environment? None. How familiar are you with Ryujin Industries and its product lines? Uh, basic knowledge, totally. You know, maybe I should have checked the about us before I actually applied for a job here. Whatever. Work proficiency. What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? Uh, it would be high, I think. Well, my character doesn't really have much in the way of computer. Well, we'll say medium. What level of education have you completed? High school. Do you have a history of criminal activity? Uh, no, definitely not. Your application is now complete. To officially submit your application, please select Submit Application below. Answers may no longer be changed beyond this point. Thank you for submitting your application. Please report to Imogene Salzo on the operations floor at Ryujin Tower in Neon for your interview. Okay, so we got to go over to Neon, which I believe I said that was the knockoff Night City from Cyberpunk for this game. But anyway, about us. Uh, our mission statement, to deliver the best quality life-improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Region Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation. We strive towards advancement and believe there is always room for improvement. Fulfilling customer desires is our number one goal. Very nice. Uh, we could check history and other stuff, but I'm sure we'll learn it without reading it. I'm sure we could come back here if we need to. Okay, we need to travel to Neon, but I have not explored every system along this route. So I'm gonna need to go to this one. So we'll go here and then just immediately jump there. Well, that was a new cutscene. I don't think I have any. I mean, I don't. Totally don't have contraband. That's all we need. Enjoy the cool. All right, let's land. Thank you. I mean, we didn't even land yet, but thank you. Oh yeah, this is definitely a knockoff Night City for sure. And maybe Ryujin, uh, because it said Ryujin Tower is where I need to meet the person at. The person whose name Ibn Jeans, Jens, whatever her name was. Uh, at the top of... That's the same logo. So that's their tower. So whose tower is that? That one's bigger. But anyway, uh, yeah. Knock off Arasaka Tower. So maybe I shouldn't work for them, actually. Well, it, it'll be fine, right? Welcome to Neon. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself... Well, that's kind of cool. But I was going to talk about the sign, where I was going to read the sign, which is what I did do, but then you interrupted me, as always. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. Well, I'd hope not. I mean, I'm not that rich, though. How long does a scan take? Or does it scan me as I walk through? second you step through. All right. Get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. What's Aurora? Contraband, right? So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City on yep. New Atlantis? No. No. I just forgot I was carrying it. Is all. Honest mistake, right? this right here I can pay the usual we don't make the rules that's administrator Bayo's job now 
Shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. All right. Anyway, security's got its eyes on Saburo Open Digbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo. You know what I mean? Mm, okay. Oh, we got two quests. Got a quest to talk to this guy and a quest to talk to the dude that dude just talked about. All right. I'll hit the button for you. Don't worry. All right. This place, yeah, is definitely a knockoff Night City. It's a nice, nice looking place, I suppose. It's a place for the Free Star Rangers. My That's cool. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. You just interrupted that lady who was talking to me. Sarah, you are such a rude person. But here is Ryujin Tower, and I guess I'm good and I don't need to check in with you or anything, right? All right, I think we're good. Let's go to the elevator. All right, and then operations. Okay, do I have to check in with you? I do. Can I help you? Oh, but it's optional. We'll talk to you anyway. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Yes. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room. Follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. So a whole bunch Sounds of like lefts. Maze, right? I mean, I so guess. So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Uh... I would appreciate you showing me the way, but there's a quest marker that'll probably do it for me, so. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. Probably, and hopefully I get the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that in like 30 episodes. Don't worry about it, Sarah. Make a left. Make a left. Make another left. And then this must be Imogene. Hi, how's it going? Of space small talk. Hmm. Okay, I was given wrong. Oh wait, no, no, no. She said something about a staircase, so it must be this one, right? Don't wander into any restricted areas. What do you mean? Is this a restricted area? I thought this was where I was supposed to be going, even though the quest marker is obviously over here. That that secretary oh, gave me terrible, terrible instructions, directions. He told me to make like five lefts. Great. A full spacesuit. Corporate environments aren't that toxic. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> That's a lot of. Your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Yeah, you hear that, I Sarah? Are you are waiting out here. I'll be right here. Yes, you better be right here. All right. I wonder if she would have reacted to other outfits. Probably. All right, just to get a few things straight. She does not look I'm amused. I'm <laughs> Salzo, senior operations specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. Okay. We're looking for someone to fill an entry level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match. It hasn't failed. Which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Alrighty. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? There was an ad, and I'm gonna get paid. I can appreciate an honest answer. And if you're hired, you'll be making far more than just a few credits. Provided you're successful, of course. I'm always this successful. I'm the main character, you know? Considering you marked having zero experience. <laughs> Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Well, it's an entry-level job. Anyone anyone could do it. And judging from your application, I take it that's why you applied. Exactly. Not that I'm going to argue since I feel the same. So, next question. How motivated are you to succeed? Extremely super ultra motivated. I'll go above and beyond to get the job done and stuff. All you in, know? huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least that's an attitude we can work with here. Yeah, see, Finally, I'm perfect for the job. My last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Probably a management role. Yeah, 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 probably a management role. That's what I was I'd just saying. Say that's reasonable and not outside the realm of possibility. I like the minimum, maybe so look, more. Since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. <laughs> that's fine. On a probationary period, of course. Okay, okay. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If yeah. there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. 
Okay, okay. Do I get to skip the line? Very nice. Sarah, you can continue. I don't even... Wait. She was right there. Where'd she go? Oh, she moved. All right, well, anyway, Sarah, you can wait here. All right, Terra Brew Coffee. And there's actually a fairly decent line in here. Uh, but I can skip it because I'm here to pick up an order for Imogene at the Ryujin Industries. Oh, the Ryujin order. Yes. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Soulless? Tomo? You're the soulless I'm one. sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Who are you calling nobody? I'm a famous bounty hunter. Um, but I'm sorry you got fired. But that's not my fault or my problem. All I did was respond to an ad so I can get a job and get some money. All there is to it. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. Before they send so me after you. So I'm taking matters hmm. into my own hands. Okay. Believe me, it's either you or me. <laughs> I like how those people just ran out of there. <laughs> These people outside are just like, oh, we're chilling. That's an interesting looking pistol you got there. I don't think I've seen one like that before, I don't think. Um, unfortunately, I can't leave the conversation like I couldn't fall out for to put on my charisma gear or drink some alcohol that increases persuasion chance. But we'll try to persuade him. Uh, hold on, let's talk about this. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Well, I won't mind putting you in the ground, but uh, you're throwing your life away here, and that's in green, so hopefully this passes. You're there we go. Good. Not yet. What do you mean? I am that good. Uh, you. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I, I hope so. Okay, you holstered his weapon, and then plus two. Ooh, it's in green. I'm glad you're starting to come around to my point of view. You don't oh, get and that failed. Mm. Looks like I'll be doing Ryujin one last favor after all! Ooh, uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, um... You saw that, right? He tried to kill me. That was crazy. What is his gun? Oh, it's an Eon. Never mind, I have seen those before. Oh, everybody's running. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't me. Okay, well, I got some ammo. Got a lot of credits. We'll just take everything. Why not? Alright. Uh, I'm here for that coffee. Yeah. made my day more interesting. Yeah. I don't want any trouble, but I'd get fired if I didn't call security to get this body out of here. So I'd head back to Ryujin ASAP and let Miss Salza know if I were you. Yep, I was planning on letting her know what what happened. Uh. <laughs> Long as you do, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, okay, that's good to know. All right, well, um, I think I can help you. Maybe can I? Can I not move the body? There we go. Okay, I was gonna say, can I not pick up the body? There we go. Oh, the body's outside. All right. Wow, it's very, uh, not crowded anymore. <laughs> he pulled the gun on me first. I was, I was in the right, you know, and I'm, I'm a bounty hunter, you know, it's, it's partially what I do. Plus, based off of what he was telling me, kind of seems like, uh, they might have sent me after him at some point in the future anyway, based off of what he was kind of saying, which, you know, kind of like what I was saying, oh, it's just a knockoff, uh, Arasaka from Cyberpunk. Maybe that is exactly what this is, you know, and they're actually secretly a corrupt uh, company that uses uh, people going undercover and whatnot to uh, take out and handle the competition, you know, if you know what I mean, you know. Now, I wonder how much Sarah would be uh, complaining and yelling at me if she was there. So it's a good thing she wasn't there because Sarah loves ruining my fun. Yeah, you wait there. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm a gene. I got your coffee, but an ex-employee tried to kill me. So, you know, I had to kill him. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? 
Well, like I said, ran into an ex-employee of yours. Good answer. And the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. And we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. Oh, and since Yuko yep. isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. <laughs> so, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Yeah, not really. I only wish this hadn't resulted in a needless death. Such a shame. Okay, so she's gonna yell at me anyway. You weren't even there for it, Sarah. I mean, I guess you heard about it because she was told about it, and you, you're kind of standing right outside her office, just eavesdropping, like the nosy little that you are, Sarah. But thank you. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. All right. I'm promoting you to junior operative. Junior operative. The position operative. is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Yep, okay. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? I figured. I kind of knew it. I knew that's what that was going to be, but no, no questions. I'm good. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. Gladly. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Okay. So we got to meet with them and give them their coffees. But something I'm kind of curious about is if I had successfully persuaded him, she probably would have talked to, you know, given me the same... Uh, dialogue anyway. Struggling there, little robot. You need me to get that for you. Did that help you? Okay, not really. Oh, I picked up another quest. I, w I was watching this robot run into this door. All right, well, anyway, uh, hello there, Lyndon. I brought you your copy. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Uh, okay, so tranquility is like another coffee company or something, or maybe tea company. So Ryujin owns tranquility, right? For the past five years. Tranquility is a recent acquisition, and we've only just begun to develop the brand. Okay. You may have seen how several vendors carry the product now. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe Ryujin should acquire Terra Brew as well, and then they can merge Tranquility and Terra Brew, but under the new name, which would help bring successors. I don't know. I'm not a business person. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Okay. Fair Current enough. projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Okay. Tea talk aside, allow uh -huh. me to introduce myself. <laughs> Tea talk aside, I'm get Lennon it? I'm called Dairy, Chief Tranquility. Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, from the sound of it, might be often. Hey, 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 I never screw up, so you won't have anything to deduct. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. Well, you've yet to hire me. This introduction me. was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. All right, let's meet with you, which is Genevieve. Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Well, nice to meet you. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? None. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. Yeah, but that's Just what I that said. One screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Alright. Well, things will be easier once I can get a suppressor on my 1911. Which hopefully I can do, uh, maybe when I complete this quest, I'll get XP to level up. But alright, uh, Alexis Price. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. I'm quite the specimen, I know. Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. Oh, man. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, 
are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Okay, okay. I will do my best. Let's hope your best is good enough. It is. It's more than enough. More than good enough. You don't have anything to worry about it. All right. And the last guy, if it gives me the interaction prompt. Is it not going to give me the... Oh, there we go. I just had to jump on the table to get the interaction so, prompt. Fetching coffee one minute and junior operative the next. Yeah. Gamden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. Okay, okay. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's good to meet you. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Mm. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. For sure. I will keep that in mind. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. That's course, a good outlook on things. you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. True. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Yeah, yeah, no problem. All right, so we got to report back to her. Um, yeah, I kind of got like... They all seem generally, except for her. She's the only one who seems like not... Nope, I knocked off, knocked over their tea kettle. <laughs> oh, well. She seems to be the only one that doesn't really uh, seem to like me very much. The other ones are just like, yeah, good to meet you, but don't cause problems for me. It basically, what are the vibes I was getting from them, you know? I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. Yeah, I did. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, pretty much what I was just saying. I've been told how much work I would create for them if I'm not careful. Uh, which the basic theme was, don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Okay, okay. Big mistake on their part. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. All right, well, consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. True. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Oh. Here's the data slate. Good luck. You don't have to worry about it. I am I love doing stealth things, but I don't have a suppressor for my 1911 yet, so I can't really do that yet. Do I have... Ooh, she gave me two diggy picks as well. Okay, okay. So kind of what I figured. Who knows, maybe it'll actually be good working for them. But we're not going to do this quest today. Uh, did I get a level up? I did not. No, zero skill points. Okay, because what I would like to do is... Is it science or tech? Yeah, there it is. Weapon engineering. I need to get weapon engineering one, but I need to spend one more point in science. So, astrodynamics, geology, medicine. So, I still need seven more healing items to get that to me to medicine two, which would be very useful. Research methods would also be good. And that one's actually pretty easy. All I need to do is craft five unique food, drinks, drugs, weapon mods, or equipment mods. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go back to my ship. I can craft five things. So that way, when I get a skill point, I can spend it on rank two of this. And then the following level up, I'll be able to get weapon engineering, which I think I'll then need to be able to do the research for the uh, muzzle modifications or whatever. So that way I can actually put a suppressor on my 1911. And then we could actually uh, help out. Before we end off the video, we'll do this quest. We'll do loose ends. We'll speak with Neshar in jail, which should be here, right? It is still here, obviously. Kind of curious where these other ones are. This one is in a completely different area, so we're not even going to bother with that, actually. It's all the way back on Jemison in the Mass District. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Retrieve. Okay, that's obviously right here. And then this one as well. This one should be on Neon. And it is. So maybe we could do this one and loose ends. But we'll start with loose ends. Or maybe I'll just see which one's closer and then I'll do that one first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so this activity is about 
60-ish meters, 69 meters away from this tower. And then loose ends is quite a bit further. All right, so we'll talk to this dude first. So they appear to be inside the mining league. See, I told you, look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? Exactly. I can't believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months before this loser packs it in. Oh, uh, don't be such a jerk. We should look around and see if there's something we can buy. Yeah, sure. You want to waste your credits? You go right ahead. Well, I mean, just because it's an ocean planet, you can go underwater mining. That's a thing. But anyway, uh, hello there, Saburo. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Well, uh, business can't be that bad. I'm afraid it is. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. Yeah, that's not a... Uh... A good situation. Maybe I could help? That would be a blessing, my friend. But I wouldn't want to impose. I don't really know how exactly I would be the one helping. You know? Uh, but I, I don't know. We'll ask him, is there anything I can help you with to save your store and your business and stuff? You would do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Okay, I mean, that, that seems like a decent idea. Sounds simple enough. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, anything at all please let me know all right sounds good it was good of you to stop by my friend yeah yeah okay so we got to distribute flyers to the neon merchants and there's five of them all right let's get doing let's get doing yeah let's get going let's get doing yeah hmm there's no quest markers so we're gonna have to just find these people ourselves so Let's see, well, so it's one, signs two... Pointing to the Astral Lounge. I think we should pay to visit. Purely for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll just go to each of these. Excuse me, thank you. So I'm guessing you were the person I need to talk to. Yeah. Welcome to Sighart's Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's uh, quite a bold claim. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. Uh. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. That's awfully uh, nice of you. But, uh, you're starting to sound like a used spaceship salesman. Haven't heard that one before, but I suppose I can't blame you for saying so. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Well, choice business locations aren't cheap, you know? Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? <laughs> I'm actually here because I have a flyer for you from Soburo Okadigbo in case you're interested in any cross promotion. Business could always be better. I'll take that. Yeah. There we go. I guess I'll at least look at your shop inventory. Sure. I have everything you need to explore the settled systems. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's got one weapon. He's got a cutter. Cool. Spacesuits. Okay. He's got some spacesuits, but I think my spacesuit is better. Got three baguettes. 
Nice. If only I could use that as a weapon. Uh, you don't have any... Oh, you do have med packs. Ooh, okay. Okay. Maybe I will buy some, actually. Maybe I'll buy, like, one. Yeah. And then I'll sell you some stuff. Maybe. Okay, maybe I'm not going to sell you anything. All right. So that's one person down. Let's go to the other shops. All right. So right next door, we have the Stroud Eklund. Although, I don't think I counted this one. But, uh... We'll see. If you have any questions about our spacecraft. Ah, uh, okay. Don't spacecraft salesman. All right. On behalf of Strout Eklund, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Thank you. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. Okay. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage over our competitors. You okay. can okay. configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. That's quite a sales pitch. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Feel free to have a look around our showroom. I'll be right here if you need me. Okay, well, I have a flyer for you from Saburo. It's a cross-promotion offer. Cross-promotion? I don't think we need it, but I'll give it a look anyway. We did it. Two out of five. If you're in the market for spacecraft, please don't forget about us. Yeah, I won't. I won't. Maybe we'll actually come back here. All right. Next, we got this place, which is the Emporium. Although there's still three other places. Although I guess maybe the medical place doesn't really need a flyer, maybe. Maybe that's how it is. So why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? This place is way out of my price range. <laughs> hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. <laughs> there's expensive, and then there's the Emporium. This place is in a class all by itself. Okay. Yeah, okay. I guess. Take a look around. If you find something, I'll help you out, okay? Oh, well, that's nice of you. What a good friend. Oh, you're not even going to say anything? You're not even going to thank him? Or oh, terrible. You're, you're a terrible friend. He's a good friend. All right, well, anyway, uh, hello yes. there, Mr. Tevin. Can I help you? <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. What does your usual clientele look like? I cater to the high-end client. Ah, uh, uh, okay, I successful. see. In the end, that would be what we call the upper 10%. Okay, well, uh, damn, I almost wore my entitled snob outfit today. I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. Okay. In fact, All right, that's there's understandable. a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goods. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like to take him out as the first. Take him out. It's just the first option. Uh, but what is Sioku? The Seoka Syndicate, of course. You're Sioka, my bad. I'm surprised you haven't run into any of them. They're I mean, I just got here. organized criminals who use threats and violence to push their own agenda. And honest people like me tend to suffer the consequences. They're based out of Neon, but no one is certain who runs the Syndicate. Could be anyone. Hmm. Okay. Well, you should learn to defend yourself then, because if you stick up to them, maybe they'll back off. Although, I guess you did say they were, like, a gang, basically, so maybe they won't back off, but I don't know. My education on Jemison consisted entirely of academics and poetry, so it's unlikely I'd be successful in that regard. Ah. Even if he could defend himself, I fear things would severely escalate. He might even end up getting himself killed. Yeah, I, I consider that, that's why... I... Too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Well, I have a flyer for you explaining a cross-promotion opportunity with Saburo Okadigbo. Oh. Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, now, oh, wait, where are you going? I was about to tell you that I might be able to handle this headlock thug for you. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. 
I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't think this will be a problem. Uh, I'll try to reason with him first, you know? Whatever it takes. Just don't go getting yourself killed on my behalf. I will do anyway, my best. That's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Okay, okay. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. All right, so we'll probably won't do that this episode. We'll probably do that next time. Okay, so next shop. Terror Brew probably doesn't need it, so we'll take it to this store. Enhance, that's what this is. This is the plastic surgery place or whatever. Okay. No. Welcome to Enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small, one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big, warm smile to your brand new face. That's pretty cool. But Saburo Akadigbo has a business opportunity he'd like to share with you. Here's a flyer explaining it. I'll take a look. But I won't make any promises, okay? Sounds good. I mean, that's... I'm just hey, handing out the flyers, you know? Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to enhance your day. Yeah, woo! That was a super creative way to say goodbye. You get it because, like, it's called enhance, and... I, I mean, you get it, you get it. Wait. We had a good laugh about the fact that station... You're not giving me a quest. Oh, you are giving me a quest. <laughs> I wasn't listening to you. I was looking for the, uh, the person who is... Is it you? No, it'll be you, because you're behind the, the thing. Minerva. It's nice to see you today. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you oh, here to a hotel. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. I mean, that is a pleasant surprise, but it's neon. There's always a catch. Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Okay, okay. I didn't think such a business existed on this world, or on this planet. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. Okay. So, can I book you a room for the night? Uh, oh, okay, so I can actually give you the flyer. I wasn't sure, because it was a hotel. Uh, but I have a cross-promotion opportunity for you, courtesy of Sapuro Okadigbo. This flyer explains it all. Oh, thanks. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. And there we go. Enjoy your visit to Neon. Thank you. That's actually, uh, a nice way to introduce yourself to the different vendors around the, uh, the location. Yeah, see, I knew this was a, uh, a, I mean, it's called Reliant Medical, what else would it be? But I'm wondering if I could have given the, one of the flyers to, to this person, or whoever's in charge of this place, instead of, uh, oh, there's also an, a fishing place right here as well. Oh, wait, no, there's not. That's just an ad sign. What is this? This is the Trade Authority. I wonder if I could have given the flyer to this person. Hmm. I don't know, but I kind of like, uh, it, there wasn't a quest marker either, so I think, I'm thinking because now there is a quest marker for this quest, but there wasn't a quest marker before, so I think you could have just chosen any five of the, uh, stores, because maybe he only made the five flyers, you know, he didn't have any other copies, but maybe, theoretically, in theory, you could take those five flyers to any five vendor and then give it to them with the cross-promotion opportunity uh, thing from this dude which is actually kind of cool that's actually a kind of a cool way to do that and then once you actually hand out the five flyers then there's an actual quest marker leading you back here you know it's kind of nice when the game doesn't hold your hand the whole time but you know sometimes uh it is kind of nice to have you know a little bit of hand holding you know but uh suburo i have delivered all of the flyers to a bunch of different vendors for you yeah to purchase some mining goods ah thank you so much my friend I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Yeah. Oh, and he gave me 1,300 credits for that? That's pretty good. Well, you know what? I, I'll see what you have for sale. 
Certainly, my Ooh, friend. mission update for loose ends. Interesting. He sells a lot of... Uh, ooh, I need beryllium. I don't remember what I needed beryllium for, but I feel like I, I like really need... It. Maybe I'll actually come back to this guy. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. Thank you. You as well. Because, you know, I might actually be able to use... Oh, wait. This one's not stealing. Neither is this one. But this one and this one are. But this one and this one are not. This one isn't marked as stealing either. Neither is that one. Okay, some of... I uh, interesting. I don't interesting. Some of them are stealing, but a lot of them are not. That's... Interesting. But all right, let's take a look at our other quests. Oh, that's why it said it updated because it automatically equipped this quest or put this quest on next. So next up, we will talk to Frank Rennick and uh, who's literally right over here. We'll talk to him real quick and then we'll see what he wants us to do. And we might start off with this next episode. Ooh, you look pretty cool. I met a miner from Gazal. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't get her either. Not at first. <laughs> but then I realized she wasn't a miner. She was a gold digger. <laughs> Is that a I joke? Because all she ever wanted was mine. <laughs> <laughs> it is a joke. Get it? Yeah, you get it. Sticks. I wasn't sure if he was being serious thing. at I first. Tell. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Ooh. Double barrel. I could have got a shotgun from here for free. All right. Anyway, what's up, Frank Rennick? What can I get you? If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Okay. Okay. I don't want any trouble, you know. I'm I'm just looking around. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Sticks. He runs our um complaints department. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you won't have any complaints from me. I'm here to spend some credits. That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could oh. find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. I thought that maybe uh, the graffiti was intentional, like a way... You know like for the aesthetic of the robot because he i think he looks kind of cool but he's been defaced by somebody so maybe i could track them down for you you do that huh well i wonder if it's the same okay. maybe i misjudged you headlock that was his name right yeah can't allow an assault like that to go unpunished you know huh i'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession the low life that did this to my buddy calls himself warlord Oh, okay, somebody you else. You can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. I wonder if he is in the same gang as the headlock guy. But this, he didn't mention Sioku at all. Can you tell me why he's targeting you, perhaps? Warlord's one of the disciples. One of neon street gangs that claims it owns Ebside. Oh, okay. A few years back, the gang Different tried to gang. break in here and rob my place, but Styx put one of them down and sent another to Reliant on a stretcher. He and his buddies have been harassing me ever since, mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries. Mm. Warlord still swears he'll get even with me, and he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable Styx and sprayed him with paint. It feels like it's only a matter of time before he gets past Styx and I'm done for. Well, like I said, I will I will try to deal with them for you. But I think we'll do that next time, because we also need to deal with this other gangster named Headlock. So next episode will basically be a uh, a cleaning up neon episode. Maybe that'll just be the title of the episode. <laughs> but let me see what you got for sale. If you've got the credits, I've got what you need. Do you have 45 ACP? Because I'm kind of low on that. Uh, you do! I will take your entire stock. You got a lot of other ammo. Ooh, 40 millimeter. These grenades? For a grenade launcher? Because that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, he's got a lot of... Ooh, and I believe this Ultra Mag ammo is the same ammo that's used by my that gun. I think. Could be wrong on that. Where is it? That gun. 
It is. It is, in fact, that ammo. It is my most powerful weapon, so maybe having some extra ammo for this. Yeah, only 576 for 18 rounds. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, let's check your weapons, see what you got. The Assassin's Maelstrom. Ooh, and it's got a suppressor on it already. Nice. Oh, but it's semi-auto. It's got armor-piercing rounds, so that's nice. Uh, the Boom Boom. The Rare Shotgun. Explosive. Randomly switches to explosive rounds. Okay, okay. But it says randomly switches to explosive rounds, so it's not like a every shot is explosive like it was in Fallout 4. Ooh, that's a interesting. I just noticed the magazine is... It's, so it's like a weird, like, bullpup pistol shotgun. Huh. That's kind of interesting, actually. Oh, he's got three of these things, so I could have just bought one of these double barrel shotguns from him. What is the Lawgiver? Ooh. Oh, it's a 50 cal. Oh, but it only does 34 damage? What? That's not very much damage. Can I inspect it? Oh, yeah, look at this thing. It's interesting. It's like a... Can I not... Ugh, why is the rotation so weird in this game? That kind of looks like it might have like a, like a revolver cylinder. So that would be interesting. But, but I think that's too small because look at the size of the barrel. Plus, it's 50 cal, so... Uh, that would be weird if that was a cylinder, so more than likely the ammo gets loaded there or something like that. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting weapon. Probably made by the same, uh, manufacturer as, uh, the Coachman. It says Loretto, Loretto on the side. This one, I didn't see that on it, but it's got, like, the same, like, wood finish, so... That's why I'm just assuming it was maybe the same weapons manufacturer. I don't know. An old earth hunt. Oh, that's a Ventores! That's a VSS Ventores. Oh, I want to buy that, actually. And it uses 9x39. Ooh. And it will have the integrally suppressed barrel. I'm buying it. I I'm sorry. I love the VSS Ventores. The buzz cut. Huh. I'm hoping that, like, the legendary weapons in this game, or, like, the unique ones with a name and stuff, are, like, kind of like they were in, uh, you know, like, New Vegas and stuff, where, like, they have a unique look and they don't just... They're not just, like identical to uh the regular weapon which when you look at this one this one's like white and this one's like dark gray and black which is pretty cool okay, what what can i sell you because i spent a lot of my money also i don't think i have any 9 by 39 oh i have three i have three rounds of 9 by 39 well you know what i'll sell you all of these mines for 306 that's not very good but whatever it's not like i'm gonna use them actually when i said i had three of these I, that's how much it's worth because the number you have is right here so i only have one round of nine by 39 i don't know what weapon this goes to so i will just sell all of those 0.27 is really common it seems so let me sell that yeah there we go made some money back now i would actually like to get some nine by 39 and i can Ooh, why is it such an expensive ammo though all right, well, I guess we could buy 30. Yeah, we'll buy... Actually, we'll go up to 850. Yeah, there we go. 34. Perfect. All right. Door's over that way. Yep, thank you. Now, there is a weapons workbench here. I actually want to take a look at that... Ventores. Okay. So, I, ooh, I could put a laser sight on it. And I do have the materials for it, so let's go ahead and do that. Is it really there we go. Need to drag around all that gear. Yes, it is. In the magazine, it's got a standard mag. We put on a smaller magazine. I'm sorry. I did not want a smaller magazine. I mean, faster aim down sight speed and reload speed at the cost of ammo capacity. I mean, it is only lowering it by eight bullets. That's not too bad. Armor piercing, I think, would be what we want because that actually increases the damage by 3.3 damage points but i need magazine and battery mods too internal i got no mod on it right now and i'm not able to put anything else on it yet would be nice to get the high powered you know because that'll further increase the damage you know that'll put it up to what about 41.3 you know with that magazine as well and then there's no skin i wonder if you can like unlock skins or maybe buy paint sets or something like that that would be uh interesting now it's properly renamed. Oh yeah, the VSS Ventures. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's it actually shows the laser and stuff too. I bet there wasn't like a weapon inspect in this game. Oh, and it's got the actual scope for it as well. That's nice. Uh, I'm assuming it is single shot. I don't really want to waste the ammo I have for it. Also, I have 85 rounds when I thought. Unless no, because I only bought like 34 from him. 
Hmm. It's fairly accurate when you're standing still, though, too. Like, look how tight that hip spread is. Like, that's pretty good. But when you start moving, it, it goes pretty wild, to be honest. Idle sway is not too bad. And look at that. Hold breath is left shift in this game, and it's not left alt for some reason. Wow. Good job, Bethesda. But anyway, now that we got this super awesome new gun, I'd say we're going to end off the episode next time. We are going to be doing mob mentality and bare metal. We got to, uh, well, first we got to ask Frankie, who I'm assuming is the, yeah, Frankie's grab and go. So we're going to ask Frankie, the owner of the grab and Frankie's grab and go about the gangster headlock. And then we are going to deal with warlock. So we're going to kind of be cleaning up neon next episode. You know, we're going to be doing some, uh, some crime cleanup. You know what I mean? Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate you dropping a like on it. If you happen to be new to the channel, I would appreciate you subscribing. Other than that, take care. Have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, nighttime, afternoon, whatever time it is for you in whatever time zone you are in. And I will catch you all later. Belt Wolf, out.